Prior to becoming one of the elite midfielders in the AFL, Tuke Miller captained the Calder Cannons and Vic Metro. His brand of footy was described as an old-fashioned style, as an in and under midfielder. Despite suffering a shoulder injury during the under-18s championships, he managed to display his tackling pressure and pick up touches in the midfield. Miller also averaged a goal a game in the TAC Cup, including three goals in the Calder Cannons grand final defeat. He also averaged 22 touches and five clearances that season. Tuke Miller's solid frame allowed him to impact clearances and win possession. He was assessed at being a pick between 20 and 30 in the national draft of 2014 and was collected at pick 29 by the Gold Coast Suns. Miller played all 22 games in his debut season, averaging 17 touches and five tackles a game. In 2020, he was given the vice captaincy for the Suns and had a breakout in 2021, where he would average 31 touches a game, solidifying his place as the number one midfielder for the Suns. Miller finished second in the 2022 Brownlow with 27 votes. He is a two-time All-Australian and back-to-back -back best and fairest. He is also the co-captain of the Gold Coast Suns as of 2022 and will be an integral piece to the Gold Coast quest for its first finals appearance in its history. Patrick McCartan was taken at pick one by St Kilda as a big-bodied forward who was primed to take over the mantle from Nick Rewalt, who was in the twilight of his career. However, McCartan's career was interrupted as he would experience consistent concussions causing him to be delisted in 2019. McCartan returned to footy in 2021 for the Sydney Swans and in 2022 made an inspiring comeback to the senior side, this time as a defender. He played in the losing grand final but has been able to find a consistent position and looks to build a promising career. At pick two, Christian Petrarca was chosen by the Demons. Petrarca stands at 187 centimeters and 98 kilograms. He was described as the most dominant in the AFL draft that year and drew comparisons to Dustin Martin and Ollie Wines. He played a more forward role early in his career, but made a more consistent mid move in 2020, where he would average close to 30 disposals a game and average a goal per game. He's the 2021 Norm Smith and has the equal most disposals in AFL Grand Final history with 39. He's also a three-time All-Australian and best and fairest. Melbourne picked Angus Brayshaw at pick three from the Sandringham Dragons, where he averaged 24 touches a game and six clearances. He showed speed in the combine with a 2.81 second 20 meter sprint and also was able to kick 17 goals in the season. At the D's, Brayshaw suffered concussion trouble, which saw him miss most of 2017. However, he would return in 2018, averaging 26 disposals a game and coming third in the Brownlow. He played a more defensive role in the Premiership season and has been integral in Melbourne's recent success. Jared Pickett went at pick four to GWS and was seen as a high pick with elite speed, endurance and ball skills. However, he never played a game for the Giants and was traded to Carlton where he played 17 games between 2017 and 2019 before he was released. Jordan Dugowie was taken by Collingwood at pick 5. Like Petrarca, Dugowie drew comparisons to Dustin Martin and was Collingwood's leading goal kicker in 2018 with 48 goals where they would lose to West Coast in the grand final. Despite his potential, Dugowie has found himself in much controversy and scandals in his off-field life. However, he is part of a strong Collingwood outfit in 2023 and may play an important role in their success. At pick six, Caleb Marchbank was chosen by the Giants and touted a strong marking defender. After only seven games with GWS, Marchbank requested a trade to Carlton, where he has been since, but has struggled with injury and maintaining a consistent position in their best 22. Paul Ahern was chosen at pick seven by GWS. He did not play a game for them due to two knee reconstructions. He was traded to North Melbourne in 2016, but only managed 22 games before being delisted in 2020. He currently plays for the Northern Bull Ants in the VFL. At pick eight, Gold Coast picked Peter Wright. Wright stands at 203 centimeters tall and has affectionately been nicknamed 2-meter Peter. He established himself as a key marking forward, 
kicking 27 and 31 goals in 2016 and 2017 respectively. He was unable to get a game in 2020 and requested a trade to Essendon. This move would be a positive impact on his career, as in 2022, he would win Essendon's best and fairest and lead the goal kicking with the Bombers, kicking 53 goals. Darcy Moore was selected with the father-son pick at pick nine. The son of a two-time Brownlow medalist, Peter Moore, Darcy was considered a tall option at either forward or back and spent his first three seasons in the forward line, kicking 49 goals over 2016 and 2017. However, he found a consistent role in the full back from 2018 and has been there since. Moore is Collingwood's captain for 2023. Geelong selected Nakaya Cockatoo at pick 10 from the Northern Territory. He drew comparisons to Patrick Dangerfield. However, injuries affected his ability to break into a strong Geelong side, and he was traded to Brisbane, where he again would only manage 15 games in 2021 and 2022. He was redrafted through the rookie draft by the Lions. At pick 11, Liam Duggan was selected by the West Coast Eagles and has been a consistent player in the back line and is a member of the 2018 Premiership team. At pick 12, Corey Ellis was selected by Richmond after a season at the Western Jets, averaging 22 touches and five clearances. However, various injuries affected his ability to make an impact at the Tigers, and by 2017, the team was so strong he couldn't find a consistent role. He was traded to Gold Coast in 2019 and then delisted at the end of 2020 after 31 AFL games. Lockie Weller was selected by Fremantle at pick 13. He played 47 games for the Dockers before requesting a trade back home to Queensland, where he now plays for Gold Coast. Jake Lever was selected by Adelaide with pick 14. As a defender, he suffered a serious knee injury, which saw him slip through his expected draft range of top three. However, after 56 games with the Crows, Lever was traded to Melbourne. He is part of the 2021 Premiership side and is a leader in the side's defensive six. At pick 15, Jared Garlett played 30 games for Gold Coast and Carlton before being delisted in 2019. At pick 16, Sam Durden was drafted by North Melbourne and played 21 games before being delisted in 2020. He was redrafted in 2022 by Carlton in the mid-year draft and has played three games for the Blues. Kyle Langford was selected by Essendon at pick 17 as a tall forward and mid. He has played 109 games and kicked 77 goals as of this video. Isaac Heaney was selected by Sydney from the Sydney Swans Academy. Originally, Melbourne were to pick him with pick number two. However, the Swans were able to match the bid with pick 18. Heaney is an All-Australian and one of the Swans' best forward and mids, kicking nearly 200 goals over 154 games as of 2022, where he also kicked a career-best 49 goals. At pick 19, Blaine Bonkhorst was selected by the Blues as a 21-year-old, but only managed 25 games over three seasons. Jaden Laverde was selected by the Bombers with pick 20 and has played 93 games as of this video. He only managed 46 games in his first six seasons and has been a regular contributor since 2021 when he was moved into defense. At pick 21, Hugh Goddard was selected by the St. Kilda Saints. He is the second cousin of Brendan Goddard. However, only played 12 games between 2015 and 2020 with St. Kilda and Carlton. At pick 22, Daniel McKenzie was selected by St. Kilda. He is a versatile player and has played 73 games over eight seasons. At pick 23, Pat McKenna was selected by GWS, but never played a match as injuries affected his career. GWS selected Jack Steele with pick 24. He was the first ever academy selection from GWS and he was unsuccessfully bid by the North Melbourne Kangaroos with pick 16. However, at GWS, he was unable to break into the midfield due to the stacked midfield at the Giants, so he was traded to St. Kilda. At the Saints, Steele adopted the tagging role, averaging close to eight tackles a game and breaking the club record for tackles in one game at 18. He had a breakout year in 2020, coming third in the Brownlow and winning the best and fairest for the Saints, along with an All-Australian selection. In 2021, Steele became St. Kilda's number one midfielder 
and averaged 29 disposals a game with 8.4 tackles and gained 26 Brownlow votes and a second All-Australian and Trevor Barker medal. As of 2022, he is St Kilda's captain and one of the best midfielders in the AFL. At pick 25, Daniel Nielsen went to North Melbourne and only managed seven games. At pick 26, Toby McLean went to the Bulldogs after winning the Morrish medal and best on ground at the TAC Cup Grand Final. He was a member of the 2016 Premiership side for the Dogs. However, an ACL injury affected his position in the team and he has only played three games in 2021. Lucas Webb was selected at pick 27 to the Bulldogs, playing 24 games and kicking seven goals before being delisted in 2019. And at pick 28, Dylan Viojo Rainbow was selected by the Blues, but never played a game at senior level.